When you need advice, come to Ben and Kelly. It's group therapy on 99.7 DJX. Yeah, and if you have an issue, just shoot us a message at Ben and Kelly show and uh, we'll toss it out to our listeners. See if you can, you know, get some help. She says, let's just say my name is Sarah. Hi, Sarah. I'm having trouble with an issue that I can't seem to let go. I reminded my very busy boyfriend that he may need to make reservations so that we can go to our favorite spot on Valentine's Day. Okay, that's Monday, right? Yes. Then he tells me that he's spending Valentine's Day with his kids. Okay. She says, I'm sorry, I'm not a crappy person. I have three kids of my own, but correct me if I'm wrong. Valentine's Day is not a child's holiday. Children have all the other holidays, gifts, etc. LOL. Valentine's Day is the one holiday a woman can look forward to besides Mother's Day. At least that's how I feel. I feel it's the one holiday in the year that you and your significant other can celebrate each other and your love for one another. Mm -hmm. I get my kids candy, but that's about it. I just kind of feel pushed aside on this one. I'm not selfish at all, but I'm kind of scared to say anything to him about it, about how I really feel. Am I wrong for feeling like this? Hmm. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of a bad person to ask because I Valentine's Day was never a huge thing with my wife and I. Even when we were dating, it was a thing where, you know, we'd give a I mean, when we first started dating, it sounds like maybe she's starting like this is a relatively new relationship because when we first started dating, you know, all those sort of like little little holidays were kind of big where it was like, all right, well, let's go out to eat. Yeah. Let's get each other a card, you know, some candy or something like that. But then, you know, after after a family, after kids, after marriage and stuff, it's uh, I give, you know, we we show our appreciation and love to um the family. I we we show it to the kids. You know, my wife and I will maybe get each other a card. Yeah. We we don't do a whole lot. Now I say that and I'm like thinking back going, man, do we? <laughs> so I don't know if I'm a great person to ask about that. Well, it, it, we don't actually know how long they have been together and how new the relationship is. And Gina says, I need more information. How long y'all been together? Is Valentine's Day on his normal scheduled visitation day? Other mm. than that, people telling you to grow up is kind of childish. Your feelings are important, too. Either way, Valentine's Day is for couples. I'm a mom and a wife, and we've never brought the kids out with us for romantic Valentine's dinners. Right. Yes, the kids should come first to an extent. To completely push you aside, though, and not even discuss, he's already made plans, and is clearly you are not included, or even a thought, I would voice my feelings, but then probably decide this this is not the relationship for me. Mm, man. Okay. Um... This is where we turn to you, and especially if you are navigating that similar situation in your life right now, um, how you're approaching it, I think, would be helpful, right? Yeah, and I think it, at the very least, she needs to say, well, okay, if we can't go out on that day, I still want to have a special dinner night out, just the two of us, mm -hmm. some other night. All right. 502-571-997, in the year that you and her, your significant other can celebrate each other and your love. And wanting to know how she approaches this. Yeah. Now, Lisa said maybe he doesn't have the extra funds right now to give her the Valentine's Day she's trying to force on him. Mm. It's a silly holiday, and I really feel sorry for anyone who's desperate for attention on one day out of the year. Now, I don't think that she's demanding that he spend a lot of money on her. I think, you know, she, she just wants to spend time with him. Well, I will say a lot of people are pointing out the fact that it's a day, and it's a made-up holiday. Yes. And so you can easily celebrate that holiday anytime like, yeah pick another day if it does if it's not uh, going to work out and he's got to have his kids on that day then pick another day i think that's a, a great point and jared also said my wonderful wife says valentine's day is a racket show your love every day <laughs> <laughs> which i agree you should definitely make sure that you are making your spouse or significant other feel like they are important and loved as often as possible now, there are several people who are saying that he should he should at least acknowledge the fact that, you know, um, that is a holiday traditionally spent with significant others and yeah. and and acknowledge that and say, hey, look, you know, I've I've got to be with the kids or I'm, I'm with the kids this day, but let's do something 
um, you know, maybe this weekend or something to celebrate. Now, uh, Tamara says, look, maybe it's just that he told her that, but he actually has a surprise plan. Oh, that's pretty now, nice. Now, I would love to spoil any surprise that, that you hadn't even thought about, Sarah. So this is great. <laughs> okay, it could be that. Then Trina's coming in, though. Wouldn't it be funny if he's spending the day with his kids and their mother? Hashtag devil's advocate. I don't think we need to talk about that. That's probably, I don't think that's it. <laughs> so, I would choose to think he wouldn't do that. I mean, do we, do we have her say something to him? Because I that's what she, she was just, asking. You know, reiterates, I think if it's not going to work out like on Valentine's Day to be together, that she communicates that she wants to do something special soon. Just yeah, yeah, maybe it's a a more of an understanding approach like, hey, I, I know that you are going to be with your kids on Monday, but maybe we could do a fun um, thing on Tuesday. Look, yes. Like and, and especially when all the restaurants aren't as booked as they're probably going to be on Monday. Yeah, that was a that was a point raised by a lot of people that, you know, hey, it's it, avoid the craziness of actually going out on that day and do something soon and just kind of, you know. Use that as a celebration of you guys. Wait, isn't the 15th the day for the other women? Isn't isn't that, isn't that what the day? What holiday are you trying to bring up now? Isn't there, am I, am I mistaken in this that there is Valentine's Day, which is for couples, uh-huh. right? But isn't there a holiday for like if... People breaking it, up after Valentine's no, Day? No, if you uh, want to take <laughs> the other woman out. Uh, what? No, Isn't that I don't like think the, we bring attention because, to that either. Because Valentine's Day is on the 13th. That's for, you know, all the the ladies. Single ladies, oh, yeah. No, it doesn't even have to be single or ladies. Or just, but, but just ladies. Just la- okay. ladies going out ladies. celebrating right. themselves. Am okay. I Am I just making that up in my head? I feel like you're making it up. I, I, I thought I heard that before. I don't think there should be a day for that. Anyways, I'm not, uh, I'm not promoting that that maybe is what you should do. But I am saying that maybe just... Go to him and suggest, look, let's celebrate. I don't want yeah, yeah, I don't want Valentine's day. day to completely go by without any acknowledgement for us. Like I, I would love to at least even if we're not getting like lots of gifts or whatever, just set aside some time, the two of us. Because I think if you try to make an ultimatum between you or the kids, yeah. Kids are gonna win. Exactly. It, ultimatums usually never work out well. Yep. All right. Well, let us know how it works on Monday. I'd love to, uh, or Monday or Tuesday of next week. Um, keep us uh, keep us posted. And if you want to chime in or uh, let uh, your opinion be heard, it's up on the Facebook page at Ben and Kelly Show.